So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to take a painting, which we have here, and turn it into a shiny, happy holiday card. We're going to use no Light Factory to add in some glows into the door here, and add in some lights into this uh, tree. And so this is the original painting. We've taken a version of it that's been made a little bit darker. Noel tends to work a little bit better on, at least for these types of special effects, it tends to work a little bit better on darker types of images, obviously because it's bright lights. And if you have very, if you're trying to composite that over very white or light areas, it's a little bit harder to make it uh, pop out and be kind of obvious. But that's not going to be the problem here. We've got uh, kind of a nice evening shot now that we've made it a little bit darker. And we're going to add in some glows here and some lights here. So let's go ahead and apply Null Light Factory. And it'll bring up by default our default flare, which we're not going to use. It's not altogether that useful. And so I'm going to scroll down to for tutorial door preset. And so I'm going to double click on this, and this is going to give us our uh, going to pull up our preset. And so that's not going to have the exact look. So what we're going to do is move this around a little bit. And I think we will zoom in. And I'm going to take this, I'm going to scale it down. So we're going to scale it down to say about 50-ish. And scoot that in like that. Now once we have it kind of looking like we want, we can option click and say lock lens position. Now you'll notice that normally when we move around, the light's trying to mimic what a real lens flare would look like. And so as you move the light source, depending on what your lens is doing, uh, the flare elements are going to move around and change their position. Now in this case, that's not what we want to do. We're not trying to mimic a real life lens. We're just trying to create a special light effect. And so we don't want it to act like a normal lens when we move our position point around. So what we're going to do is option click on the preview window and say lock lens position. Now with that selected, we can move this around just as it is, as we have it set up. And so we can scoot this over here so we can kind of put that over the front of the door. And maybe we'll drop down the brightness just a little bit just so the front door is showing through a bit. And so that looks really great for that side of the door. So we'll hit OK. That's going to render that out. That's going to give us our lights kind of glowing through the door on that side. And so we'll apply No Light Factory again. And do the same thing for the other side. Scoot this up over here. And we'll zoom in again. Now in this case, we don't want exactly the same thing on the front door or on the other side. So we want to change things up a little bit, not as much as visible. We've got it partially hidden by the tree. And so we're going to take one of those. Now you can see that this is made up of several different elements. So we're going to turn off one of these disks. And let's reposition things a little bit. So I'm going to unlock the lens position. And we're going to scoot these together like so. Now I'm going to relock it, and then we'll scoot this over like that. And actually, I'm going to take the random fan, which is like this big glowy thing down in the bottom here, and we're going to change the random seed to give it kind of just a little bit different look, so it doesn't look exactly like the one that's up over here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Zoom out, and you can see that we've got a pretty nice lighting effect on the other side of the door. Let's, let's screw it up a little bit over here. And that should be great. And so we'll hit OK and render that. Now one of the things about No Light Factory is if you're trying to set up multiple lights, it's generally easier to try and do them separately. Uh, do them in multiple passes. It's difficult to have multiple lights um, throughout the scene 
all within one application of, of the plugin. So we apply it multiple times to get our different lights. And now we're going to apply it a couple times to get kind of some lights in this tree up here. And so we'll uh, come over here to the Null Light Factory. and So we're going to grab a different preset. We're going to come on down to Xmas Lights and select those. Although this is a non-denominational holiday tree. Okay, so now you can see that we have our preset of that, preset of our lights. It's a little bit hard to see because of the already glowing effects on the door. Let's zoom in again. So we're going to set this up roughly how we want it. We're going to lock the lens position and scoot that up into our tree. So this is where we'll stick our first row of lights. And we'll click OK. Render that out. We'll go for another row of lights. Again, apply no light factory. So let's, you can see that we still have our lights here. Let's uh, make them look a little bit differently. Let's unlock the lens position. Let's kind of rotate them around a bit. Make them a little bit wider. Uh, we'll lock it again. We'll move it on up. Actually, let's rotate that around a little bit. So we're going to a little bit at it. have it at a little bit of an angle. And we'll lock it again. And nope, oh, that's too much. So you can see it's a little bit tricky getting uh, sometimes getting exactly the right uh, look for what you want. Yeah, that should do it. And let's come in and make a couple of adjustments. So we don't want this light looking exactly like the other one that we have over there. So we'll come in. So we'll come into the star filter that's making that effect. And we will increase the count a little bit, make it look a little bit different. Change the angle, change the width. And maybe on some of these other ones, we'll uh, make some changes to the color. So we'll add in another uh, orangey one here and make this one blue. So we just have mo lots of different colored lights on our tree. And so that's another string of lights. And we'll click OK to render that out. And you can see that renders out pretty nicely. Now you kind of get the idea. You can kind of keep adding instances of null light factory and adding different strings of lights or different types of lights or whatever you want to do. But this is just kind of a creative way of adding some flair to you know, an otherwise static picture that you want to just kind of bump up with some lights and some glows and some other special effects to really make the image pop out. And so that's really all there is to it. You can now use this image to play around on your own with no light factory and add whatever you would like. And uh, I've hoped you've enjoyed this tutorial and keep an eye open for uh, new ones as we come out with them. Thanks a lot.